look like you wanted to ask well, what I say something. Well, I'm going to look through to see if okay. these are probably out now. Yeah. Um, I, I got some questions. Okay. All right. Uh, I'll play another tune for you. Well, one thing. Uh, yeah. Where did you come up with the idea of doing harmonics? I mean, you, you know, it's something different that not a lot of people have delved into. To such an I got the idea. Uh, I got the idea uh, about like 10 years ago or so, or maybe 15 years ago. And when I heard like Chad Atkins play a few harmonics, I heard him doing something like this. Uh, you know, it looked look, look like he was doing it here. It was just, uh, or maybe this was it. that on one of his records and I learned how to do that uh, so what he's doing there is a four note chord so one finger plays these two notes and the other two notes right look, 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 look like you raise those up an octave so you're going right you play the harmonic with this and you pick it with a bit of the thumb if, 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 if you want to use a straight pick and do the same thing. Uh, you hold the straight pick with these two fingers, right? With these two fingers here, and use your, you know, look like look like thumb to get the note. So then I got an idea. Uh, low, like instead of playing them uh, both together like that, to alternate them like this, right? So I had like one note and and then the harmonic and then a note and a harmonic. And I noticed that it went da 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 da, right? And I said, well, maybe I can do that with more strings. Maybe I can do it with five notes, right? Once I started with that, right? So if you play a six note chord or a five note chord, as long as you don't like double any notes in the chord, that, you know, look like it'll work. But it won't work on chords like if you're playing, uh, uh, say, a D minor seventh, and you've got like, uh, like two A's in the chord, or something like that. You know, they're like an octave apart. So you have to make sure it's a chord that has like five different notes in it, or at least four different notes. Anybody else? Yeah. You know when you played your harmonics with the melody? Yeah. Did you use your baby, your baby finger? Yeah. You did? Yeah, I used that finger. Uh, I don't know, I just got used to it, you know? And I was, I was born with, uh, with a little finger that's kind of deformed. It doesn't stay in place with the other ones, and it's already bent, right? It's already bent like that, it won't go straight. So in other words, like it's lined up uh, just right, it works good. <laughs> yeah, it just works right. Uh, like somebody else like, may want to use the third finger, like look like when it comes to playing those harmonics, you know. But I used the little finger, it works good. But, uh, and, and, and then another thing that I do too, to get like different kinds of chord voicings, uh, say I want, look like, look like, say I'm playing a C major seven, like this, about the guitar voicing, right? Now say if I want a, like a Bill Evans type sound, then I want a cluster in the chord, like I want to put the C note, like right next to the B, so that you'd have this, right? So what I do to get that sound, is I play the chord, but I raise the root up an octave with a harmonic. And then you gotta pick the rest of the chord with these three, right? So you're picking the rest of the chord, and then you raise this up an octave, so you get this sound. Now you can move this all over, see? Right, you're always like 12 frets apart. I mean like 12 frets away. Uh, so, if it's, so, like, so like if you had to play that chord, and move it around, it would look like this. Right, that, you know, that's a lot of work. Right, though, like if you're gonna try to get there fast, you know, like it's hard. So I'd say that this way is much faster. Right. Yeah, it's worth like working on the right hand. You know, it takes maybe six months or so to get your right hand together, or maybe even, if, you know, like six years maybe. Mm. But, you know what I mean? But with a lot of practice and, the, you know, uh, like it would save a lot of work. Lenny, in doing that, when you're plucking with the real notes, yeah. with the fingers and then the harmonic on the bottom, getting the balance between so that you can get the harmonic out. A lot of times, 
difficulty people have. Right, it has to be balanced. It has to be balanced. Yeah. Uh, if, if the harmonic is too weak and you pick the chord like too hard, it's going to kill that effect because then you won't hear that harmonic. So like, so low, like you try and pick the harmonic loud and uh, pick the rest of the chords soft. And you can have your fingers already on the notes, in, in fact, like this, see? Right? They're all ready to go. So I'm not picking very hard at all. I'm just picking like this. I'm just barely... But of course, I got nails, too, right? So if you got nails, you know, like your nails will give you a clear sound. Like that. And then the harmonic's got to be loud enough. But with experimentation, you know, like you sit down and do it, and like after a while, like you'd be able to get that. Anybody else?